Hey everyone, so um, probably wondering why I've got like a bunch of cyclopses out here, or cy cyclopses. Um, so basically these are like the, my two old ones, and this is one I actually picked up today. So what I'm planning on doing is just kind of replacing uh, this figure with that one. So this is my old one, and I had some issues with this. So like obviously here you can see like the hips kind of chipped, and this hip joint's kind of wobbly. Um, also the head's like extremely loose, um, has some weird, it's like the ratcheting is kind of off with the shoulders, well with the right one at least, and, um, I have the worst time with these, what is it, these clips or whatever that go on the, um, calf, plus I have some goop here too, um, so I kind of bought this second hand, had a good deal on it. Um, <clears throat> so, I actually found this one today, let me get him to stand real quick, <laughs> so another thing too, like the, the hips kind of control the weight here, so like standing him, he just seems to fall over real bad, so anyway, um, I mean, it's not in bad shape, it, you know, still kind of one of my favorite Marvel Legend figures, but I'm going to replace them with this one here. The only issue I see with this one is it's got this goop here on the hair, so I may try to switch the heads out. I'm just going to see how it goes. But uh, the shoulders are way tighter. You can hear the ratchet there. Same thing here. Um, there's no issues there. Um, the head still has a little wobble to it, but it's not as floppy. Like, this one's real bad. Like, I, you know. Um, it seems like when I compare him, it looks like this, his left hip has popped out. Um, this hip here just seems to not hang on like it used to. This one feels nice and tight. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, and these pieces on the leg seems to hold up better. Um, you know, th like I know Havoc has this thing too. So like really what I'd recommend is just pushing it past the calf if you can. That's really the best point to, um, you know, to stay. Um, let's see. I mean, honestly, you know, aesthetically they're basically the same. I'm kind of wondering if I can switch out these heads and see if it's any better. Well, not better, but like if I can keep this head that doesn't have a goop issue. So, yeah, so I mean, I'm basically taking the old head, it looks like that. Face wise, it looks basically the same. I'm just trying to kind of Frankenstein it and make sure, because I think I'm going to trade this other one back. Let's see. So I'm not sure what happened here. It looks like some glue got on there. Um, so I have some wobble, but it's not terrible. So yeah, I may just stick with that head. Um, let's see. I'm going to put this one on here. Yeah, it looks like it's an issue with this joint here, so it's like it's not... I don't know, it has like it's tight spots, but like once you get to like the midpoint, it just kind of wobbles. So that's what I'm probably going to do. So this is basically going to be like my, um, when I trade, which I mean the guy, the guy I got this one from is the same guy I'm going to trade this one to. I just told him, I was like, well, I got this other one that's not in great shape. I'd like to upgrade and, you know, trade you this one. So, you know, to me it's worth you know, the extra few bucks to, uh, to do so. Um, which I mean, these are old, like a corner here. I don't know if you can see that. It's really hard to see because it's yellow, but it says 2012. Um, so these were part of the, uh, Warlock wave, not the, like the machine looking guy. I've got them over here somewhere, but, um, they had like the Beard of Colossus, had a lot of really good figures in the wave. So, there's that. So yeah, this one's going to be traded. This one's going to be the keeper. 
And I just want to bring this one out just for comparison. So this one's a newer one. This came with a three pack with a uh, Jean Grey and uh, Wolverine. And this one looks like it was. I don't even tell that too, but this is 2012. And I know this came out, you know, four, maybe five years ago. Um, but I mean, essentially it's the same figure. This one has a darker blue than this one. This has kind of like a more of a mustard yellow. Um, I imagine you could switch the pieces out if you want to, even the head if you wanted to. So I know I've switched the heads out. Um, but I kind of like just keeping one of each. I always thought Cyclops looked cool, like, you know, in this uniform, but even with a coat as well, I thought that was really cool. You know, I'm a big fan of the animated movie, or not animated movie, but the uh, TV show, so that's what it reminds me of. Um, so, I mean, basically the sculpt's the same. It's just this one here has, like, different shades to it. I mean, honestly, this is still my favorite, um, but, you know, like, with this one here, I can't really give up this one because the arms, if you, I don't know if you could tell, but the arms are kind of like a jacketed arms and this one didn't come with like separate arms. It did have separate uh, fists and all that though, but yeah. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just kind of want to bring this kind of old figure out, um, you know, just give a little perspective on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's still a really good figure. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if they eventually come out with this, either one of these styles. Kind of would be awesome if they do, like, both, like, with the jacket for the, uh, animated series, like, the release Sinister Jubilee Wolverine. And I think they're coming out with Jean Grey soon, so, you know, I'm just pretty sure they'll do that. But, um, anyways, whoops, um, uh, thanks for watching.